close your eyes and watch your breath. Stick with it as much as you can. Don't be too quick to run off and think about other things. You have to pay careful attention to what you're doing if you're going to get good results from the meditation. Otherwise you sit here and the mind is still for a little bit, then it wanders off, then it's still for a bit, wanders off. And it's relaxing, but it doesn't give much insight into your own mind. To see things clearly, you have to stick with it all the way through the in-breath, all the way through the out, and get the mind trained to stay very steadily in the present moment if you want to see things. And recognize a disturbance when it comes up. This is one of the reasons why at the monastery we try to speak as little as possible. Because most of us live with disturbances. An idea pops into the mind, has to come right out the mouth. Then another one pops in the mind, another one comes out the mouth. You don't see where it's coming from, where it's going. So you have to be able to step back. If you're going to engage in any other thought away from the breath, you have to ask yourself, where is this going? Where is this coming from? Is this coming from a source I can trust, or is it coming from a little bit of greed, a little bit of anger, a little bit of whatever that I can't trust? So you want to be very careful about the disturbances that come into the mind and to recognize them as disturbances and say that you're not going to let yourself get waylaid by them. This is called the quality of citta. It means being intent on what you're doing. So you can see things clearly, things you never saw before going on in your mind. This is how the meditation makes a difference in your life. It's not just for relaxation, it's for gaining some insight into what's driving your mind. So try to stick with the breath as continually as you can, and whatever pops up otherwise, while you're sitting here with your eyes closed, you can say, well, that's not my business right now. As you're going through the day, you can ask yourself, is this really necessary to get engaged with? Where is it coming from? Where is it going? If it's coming from a bad place, and learn how to recognize the bad places, just let it go. That way you get to see your own mind a lot more clearly and get more control over what's going on. So try to be intent on the breath, sticking with it all the way in, all the way out, continually as possible. And that's when you begin to see things in the mind you never saw before. And clear up problems, some problems you never realized you had. This is when the meditation shows its real benefits.